What's up, guys? This is Nick here from Everything Tech, and welcome to this episode of What is on My Android Phone for the month of January 2016. So as you can see, I'm using a Galaxy S4. Yes, it's an older device, but this is just one of the few Android phones that I have, and I just happen to have my... Well, I don't have my SIM card in it right now, but this be happen, This happens to be the one that I'm playing with right now. Now, I apologize about the lighting. My uh, power sw uh, blew out where I put my high-intensity discharge lights on to make the video, you know, a little bit brighter for y'all to see. So, just kind of deal with that for this episode. But uh, let's start off, and basically you can see, I have Nova Launcher on here with the Note 5 theme. This theme right here. Note 5. So if you want to go download this theme right here, that's the theme. That's how the icon looks in the Play Store. I know that's getting into focus, but right there, if you guys want to download that. First off, just to let you know. So I am running Nova Launcher on my Android phone. And I like these gestures where you can do two swipes down to go into the app drawer itself. Also, two swipes up to go into Nova settings right here. One swipe down to go into the taskbar. Let me brighten up the screen a little bit there. And then, yeah, I don't have one for that. But there's also one where you can kind of do a circle and it does something there too. So, gestures are a win on Nova Launcher. First, I got Calendar Gallery Calculator Quick Pick. Quick Pick is my favorite pick app because it's like the fastest picture application I think you can get for Android. Also, we have eBay, Amazon, the, the usual. I got Udemy and uh, Kindle right here. These I always have on my phone, Evernote and Google Keep. These are two very great um, note-taking applications, so when you got an idea or something, you got to jot it down. Those are two great handy apps to have just in case one of them is glitching out a little bit. They hardly ever do, but they're there just in case. I have Chase Bank, uh, YouTube, YouTube Studio to check out uh, some analytics and things like that. Google Translate right here, ADT Pulse, which is a security app for your house if you have the ADT system installed. Uh, Cortana, we talked about that in a previous video. Cortana for Android, you can go ahead and watch that. I'll leave a card right here up above. And uh, I got Google Plus and Instagram. Um, everything tech underscore Nick Ackerman at Instagram if you would like to follow. Music right here, Google Play, Power Pro. Now this Power Pro app is an app that's going to go ahead and save you some battery life because the battery life, let's face it, on the Galaxy S4 is kind of eh because of the full HD Super AMOLED screen that just sucks the battery down. We also have... Um, this wallpapers app from the GS6. I like the wallpapers that come with the GS6, so that's why I go ahead and download these. And as you can see, the wallpapers in here are quite beautiful if you don't go ahead and tap and add. But they're quite beautiful, as you can see right there. And they got tons of them, and pretty much all of them on here come with the Samsung Galaxy S6. So if you go ahead and set that right there, see there goes an ad, and that's one annoying feature about this GS6 app. So just be be careful not to go tap at all them ads, because it might get on your nerves. Hey House, now this is a vision board app. So basically if you make a vision board or a collage or something similar to that nature where you like cut out magazine pictures, I'm not going to go in there because that's personal, but you can go ahead and... Clip them all together into one, you know, piece, which is very awesome to do on your mobile phone. Going to tech news, I have Windows uh, mobile news. I have a Pi Geek, which is basically an RSS feed that brings all of your tech news into one. And I know that you guys probably read tech a lot on your devices, and this is probably my favorite right here, the uh, Pi Geek, because it brings them all together. So shout out to everybody using this app. Right here, as you can see, all the customizations of tech news you want to see right there in one app. So that's a pretty dope app right there. Going back, we have Android Central, which is basically just Android news. I don't have any Apple news because, you know, we just can go ahead and apply Geek and go to the Mac Rumors section on there. But uh, right here, I got Photo Management. I got Lightroom, which is an Adobe Photoshop app, which is very feature-rich if you want to go ahead and... Do some photo editing, graphic designing, or anything on the go on your mobile device. And that's why I go ahead and recommend that one for you guys. We have Google Photos right there. That's going to be giving you a limited storage. I'm pretty sure most of you know what Google Photos is by now. Um, they offered unlimited storage. They announced that last year, and it's, it's big because it saves us lots of space. Going here into device management, I have mixed radio. I don't know why my music radio is in there. That's a little messy. You might want to take that out of there later. We have blue light filter to save your eyes at night. Let me go back here. Blue light filter to save your eyes at night. It's very useful and it can save you from staying up all night because of the blue light that's emitted to your face, which supposedly decreases your melatonin, which is a chemical in your brain responsible for making you fall asleep. So 
Yeah, also got Clean Master. And right here I got a bunch of fitness tracking apps because I'm going to do a video on my top five fitness tracking apps. So we're going to get into those in depth, so I'm not going to show you too much of those. But yeah, that's pretty much what you're going to expect or expect. That's pretty much what I got on my Android phone. Also, I'm going to go into my app drawer. I got a 100 sounds button where you can just have all these funny buttons and, you know, all kinds of things. So you can just tap them and they just give you all kinds of effects and stuff. So as you can see, they're pretty fun to mess around with. Um, also, I have Amazon Fire TV for my Fire TV stick. This is basically gives you the voice assistance and all that. Um, also, we have Leo's Fortune, one of my favorite games. And Lightning Browser is a very intuitive and easy to use quick browser that just doesn't have a lot of things built up into it. So not a lot of features, but very quick and speedy browser overall. And yeah, I think we pretty much covered everything I got in here. I got Google Translate and TripAdvisor, but you know, those are pretty standard apps but that's pretty much what is on my android phone coming here in january about midway through and uh we'll do another one of these next month but if you guys enjoyed this video please go ahead hit that thumbs up down below mention any apps down below that you want me to check out or maybe we'll do a review even if you like them a lot maybe i'll go ahead and download it and do a little review on that app or if you all put a bunch of apps maybe i'll download all them apps and we can show all those off for everybody else and share them around the best apps for android so go ahead and do that and uh subscribe if you haven't already for more technology videos like this tips tutorials reviews anything that comes to mind technology we keep it random we keep it fun and not boring over here on everything tech and i'll catch you all in the next episode peace guys